I'm Jackie Van Ruin. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can send some love to your adrenal glands. So your adrenal glands sit on top of your kidneys and they release stress hormones. So stress hormones are released when your body feels like you are in a place of danger or high stress and your body just wants to get out of that, that feeling of danger. And a lot of times with adrenal glands and with cortisol, that is related to the emotion of fear. So if you're feeling fear, which can come from many different things, and especially now as we're in the middle of coronavirus uh, pandemic and all kinds of different things happening, you may be fearing, feeling a lot of fear. And then you're watching media, you're doing other things that are coming up and it's just perpetuating the fear. And so you're just in this constant state of fear. Your adrenals are kicking out this cortisol and it's really affecting your body. So really high cortisol levels can lead to things like high blood pressure, mood changes such as irritability or depression. It can affect your bones, your teeth, your hair. Um, it can make you um, feel weak, more thirsty. You may have to go to the bathroom more often. Um, it might show up on your face as um, zits or breakouts in your chin or dark circles under your eyes, those types of things. Ideally, you want your cortisol levels to be highest in the morning and then to decrease throughout the day because that high cortisol or that spike of cortisol in the morning gives you like that motivation and energy and stuff to get things going. Um, and then as it decreases through the day, you become just more and more relaxed, less and less stressed, if that makes sense. But what happens when your adrenal glands are constantly firing, constantly releasing cortisol and other stress hormones is that you get these little spikes of energy throughout the day. But then you also get these times when you feel more depleted and low energy. And especially if your cortisol is spiking at night before you go to bed, you may not be able to fall asleep. You might be waking up in the middle of the night, those types of things. And then in the morning, you're exhausted. Your cortisol is low when it's supposed to be high. And then you don't have that energy and motivation to get going. So I'm going to show you some specific spots you can work on your face to send love calmness, relaxation to your adrenals so that you're not kicking out so much of that stress hormone um, and so that you can feel more relaxed and uh, motivated throughout your day. So we're going to start on the chin. The chin has to do with the um, bladder and also with your feet. So working the chin is going to release the emotion of fear because your bladder holds on to fear. So if you ever notice that when you're in a state where you're feeling more fearful more stressed, you might feel like you have to go to the bathroom more often. You might feel more thirsty because you're going to the bathroom all the time. You might have breakouts on your chin or beginning UTIs or other things like that. Next, we're gonna work this upper lip area right on the outer upper lip. And this has to do with your adrenal glands. Your adrenal gland um, reflex points sit right here. And then next to it is another spot that's really good for increasing your immune system for um, just bumping up immunity and also decreasing um, inflammation in your body. Now, if you are pregnant, we wanna just avoid working this whole upper lip, partially because that has to do with your lower um, reproductive system. And also there's a point on your upper lip that's called the ejection point. And while that's unlikely to cause any problems with your pregnancy, um, we just want to avoid it just to be absolutely positively certain. So if you're not pregnant, go ahead and work these areas. This area right here for the adrenal glands might be puffy, or you might even see like a spot that almost looks like a little kidney bean that's puffed up. And that is just a sign that your adrenal glands are stressed and that they need a little extra love. You're just working this whole area in here. You're feeling for spots that feel more tender or zingy or dense. Anything that feels a little out of whack, or if you're just massaging it, you're like, ooh, that feels uh Feels like it needs a little extra love and attention. And just give it a little extra love and attention. Ideally, if you don't have one of these detectors um, that has like a nice metal spot here, you can use the sides of your knuckle. You could also use a crochet hook. Um, I have said in the past that you can use the end of a makeup brush or things like that. But I really have found that people that use the end of a makeup brush, especially if it's wood, that they can tend to um, be more prone to breakouts just because that wood can hold on to bacteria and other things that's so porous that I would prefer that you just use a knuckle or um, something metal that can be easily cleaned. 
So now after working these spots, which are really going to help um, boost your immune system, decrease stress hormones, and decrease inflammation, we're going to work this bottom part of the nose. And what that's going to do is that's going to um, enhance your kidneys on the side. And then this point here is really great for boosting up your blood. So causing your blood to be more um, healthy, vigorous. This point is called, this point right here, it's called the point of vitality. And so when you have healthy blood that's carrying minerals and nutrients throughout your body, you're just going to be healthier in general. And in particular, this point is going to be really good for your hair, your teeth, your nails, things that can be really affected by, the, um, by cortisol. This one also helps to bring your energy back into your body. When we're in a state of fear, a lot of our energy ends up in our head and we're trying to like think our way out of situations. But when our energy is in our body, it helps us to use our intuition, our innate wisdom. And that's really what the kidneys are about. Your kidneys are your body's battery. And it's also where we store this innate wisdom. So this wisdom that we're born with. You know, a lot of times you may be like, I don't know why I'm doing something, but I really feel like I need to. And that's really like your wisdom or your intuition kicking in. Next, we're going to come up the nose to the point where your glasses would sit, kind of right in this area. And this point relaxes your diaphragm and encourages deeper breathing. So when you're fearful, what happens is that all of a sudden you start breathing more shallowly. Your lungs don't expand fully. And that just perpetuates more fear, more worry, more anxiety. And so we're just taking deeper breaths. It's going to allow you to release some of that fear as well as give you more inspiration, some more ideas of what it is that you want to do in your life. Um, you know, a lot of times when we're, when we're stuck in fear, we just get stuck and stagnant and we don't have good ideas coming through. We're not using our intuition. And so breathing more deeply allows us to receive inspiration and to feel more um, healthy and alive. Next, we're going to work right between the brows. This point right here is for the pituitary gland. Pituitary gland controls all of the organs, or not the organs, more the glands and the endocrine system in your body. So it's controlling your adrenal glands, your thyroid, all those types of things. And this point is really good for relaxation, really taking your body out of the stress response. When your body's in a state of stress, it's a state where your body is like breaking down. It's not working as well. Um, and we do need some of that stress to get ourselves motivated and um, concentrated and focused, but when you have too much stress, then that actually depletes our body, and then we become less motivated, less focused, um, and our body begins to break down. So with the relaxation response, we get our body back into this rest and digest nervous system where our body's able to heal and repair itself. So moving up from there, we're going to go to point 106. This point get, um, creates a connection between the head and the body, activates your intuition, and this one is activating your, your pineal gland, which is another gland in your, um, in your brain that just helps everything to function really well. And then we're going to move up to point 103 for the mind. This point helps to turn off the overactive mind if you have too much energy going in your brain. It actually makes your brain um, brain damaged. And so this point helps to increase motivation, focus, concentration, memory by turning off um, too much activity to your brain. Next, we're going to move over here. Just do some back and forth motions kind of in the center of your forehead, but towards the outside of it. This points are for deeper relaxation. All right, when our cortisol is pumping through our body, we just don't feel relaxed. We feel kind of stressed and, you know, like hyper aware. But it doesn't allow us to actually get things done, to, you know, go move towards our life purpose, to achieve what it is that we want to achieve in life. It's just kind of this like, you know, this anxious stress. And we're going to work over the brows, so back and forth. Again, this is another relaxation technique. These two points are really great to work like right before you go to bed at night. So those points along with point 26, you can just do this really quickly before you go to bed and a lot of times it'll just relax your nervous system enough to allow you to fall asleep. Do some more circles right around in this area to relax the shoulders, relax the neck. And coming over on the other side. So some back and forth motions here over the brow. 
you feel like you're getting stuck in certain areas, like I'm kind of getting stuck right in here, I'm going to do a few little circles in this area just to release some of that tension. I'm just working right in the shoulder reflex area to relax the shoulders, relax the neck. Then I'm going to come out underneath the eyes, so in line with that point that really relaxed the diaphragm right up here, and then underneath the outer eyes, this point helps to reduce anxiety, releases the hormone oxytocin, which is known as the, um, the love hormone. So when you're feeling anxious, you're going to feel more irritable, you might feel more angry, but as you're releasing some of those, those feelings of anxiety and fear, you're going to feel more love and connection. It's just going to help you to connect more with the people in your life, to release some of that irrit irritability, some of that anger that you might be carrying around, especially, you know, when we, when we are stuck in fear, it's more likely to feel, feel anger and worried and sad and depressed. Take some deep breaths while you're massaging this area. Just notice how you're feeling in your body. Do you feel more grounded, calm? And then the last point we're gonna do is if you put your fingers in your ears and bring them all the way to the bottom and right out onto your face, this is point zero. And point zero is really important for setting the formula in as well as bringing your body back to a state of balance. This is going to help with things like blood pressure, digestion, um, any pain you're experiencing, circulation, all of those things. And then we're just going to finish up by just doing some up and down motions in front of your ears. This activates your lymphatic flow, which is really important for detoxification, for the fluid movement in your face to decrease puffiness. On the other side, getting that point zero right on the right on the outside of your face where your lower ear comes out. I'm doing some up and down motions here. All right, and that's the formula for helping with your adrenal glands. So be sure to pass this video along if you know of anybody that could use a little adrenal love right now, if they're feeling really stressed. I think most of us are feeling like increased stress right now just because we're not really sure what the future is going to hold. And that can sometimes bring more fear into our lives. So pass this along. Be sure to do this on a regular basis if you're feeling um, like your cortisol is you know, being pumped out, if you're feeling um, greater stress, fear, worry, if you feel like you are just having a hard time getting motivated, um, this is a great video to do on a regular basis. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon.